Hi, I'm Scott, co-founder of Personal Comfort. In 2012, Sleep Number sued us. Why? Because we have a superior product. Five years later, the verdict is in. Guess who won? You did. Our doors remain open to help you sleep better at a fraction of the price. Now you get to be the judge by seeing what the jury saw firsthand as we do a side-by-side -side comparison. We have a Personal Comfort A8 Queen, and we have a Sleep Number I8 Queen. The Personal Comfort comes direct to your home in three boxes. The I8 by Sleep Number comes in two boxes. So let's open up the Sleep Number first. Now that we've opened up all the boxes, let's go ahead and start to pull the pieces out and lay them across the bed base. Okay, so now we have both the Personal Comfort A8 number bed and the Sleep Number I8 360. We have unpacked all the components that would arrive to your home. So let's first look at the Sleep Number product. Here you can see the mattress. They've done a good job of roll packing it and getting it as tight as possible. You can also see the two queen air chambers, the air control unit, a fire sock, and the mattress cover. Let's take a look at the Personal Comfort. Here are the head and foot rails, wrapped. Here are the side rails, wrapped. Here is the support foam, the gel visco foam, the convoluted foam, the bottom cover, the center panel, the top panel, two air chambers, and the number bed air control unit with remotes. So, where shall we begin? How about we try with the i8 360? Now that we've unraveled the sleep number core, so this is their core part of the I-8, the next part I want to show you is the Personal Comfort A8 cavity structure. So as you can kind of see here, this is their cavity part. We're going to build that on the Personal Comfort A8 now. To begin the build process of the A8 Personal Comfort bed, I'm going to use the bottom panel. I'm going to set the support foam off to the side. I'm going to set the side rails head and foot rails right behind me. The bottom panel will be where we start the building process from. So first we're gonna put in the side rails. You'll notice the side rails were not glued or compressed into a roll pack type system. They come separate, but they do come with a feature we call cloth connected. So, you can see they do not separate. The next part, head and foot rails, also cloth connected. Easily unroll and create the foam cavity. You can see it's really a sturdy cavity, but we're not done yet. Here's the support foam comfort layer. This comfort layer goes in the foam cavity. Not only does it perform as a comfort layer, but it increases the strength and integrity. If you look here, you will see slots. These are purposely made cuts so that our side rails will bend and flex. You might ask, why is that important? Well, the reason is we use this on our adjustable bed bases so that you can have a perfect contour to the personal comfort flex base. Okay, so now we're going to install the air chambers in the sleep number I-8 bed. You can see here, there's a zipper that holds them together. So if I unzip them, they become individual air chambers. And if I zip them together, it holds them together. So it's a reduced roll to the middle feature. So we're gonna put these inside the mattress now. There's a little diagram here that says, bottom of the bed so that side goes down this side goes up i'm going to just set that foam thing off to the side for now I'll lay it on top of this support fabric so now my air chambers are somewhat positioned here 
kind of. Next, we're going to install the air chambers for the Personal Comfort A8. You can see here they're dual air chambers, no zipper. And they simply just roll out. Already, you can see a difference. There's a hose. Okay, so if you look over here at the air chamber of the Personal Comfort bed, you're going to see the connection is already quite larger than the sleep number bed. And that connection doesn't just end right at the air chamber. We've actually attached a hose, and it's not just any hose. It's a kink resistant hose. So as you can see here, as I'm white knuckling it, it doesn't kink. And you're gonna also see the connection here to the actual air control unit, which will be underneath the head of the bed. There are pre-drilled holes on the personal comfort bed that allow for the hose to be perfectly positioned through the mattress, also helping it to be kink resistant. And that feeds right out the head of the mattress down the back of the bed to where the air control unit will be. And I'll show you a difference in how Sleep Number does this in a little bit. Now we're going to take a look at the Sleep Number air control unit and hook it up to the Sleep Number i8 360. We have an owner's manual, air chamber caps, air control unit, and a USB drive. No remotes. Okay, so next we're going to open up the hose box. Here's the electrical cable. Here are the hoses to attach the air chambers to the Sleep Number air control unit. I'm going to set these little guys off to the side. We'll see these a little bit later. So already there's a big difference in the hose width and the hose structure. This is what's going to connect to the air chamber. But you can see here, I don't even have to white knuckle it and it's already kinked. So these are non-kink resistant hoses and quite possibly could simply get kinked if you have an adjustable bed base. We're going to hook the hose up to the air chamber and then we're going to feed it down the side of the bed to the head of the bed and we're going to do the same thing on the other side okay so we're going to connect the air control unit to the air chambers if you come around here and you look underneath the bed the blue side attaches to the blue side the white side attaches to the white side pretty simple and then we plug this into the wall and then this slides nicely underneath the bed. Now we're going to hook up the Personal Comfort air control unit to the Personal Comfort A8 number bed mattress. Two remote controls and then the air control unit. So we're going to hook up the air chambers to the air control unit. You can see here, there's a click. A nice connection is made. We're going to hook the power up to it and slide it underneath the mattress. Okay, so now we're going to connect the Personal Comfort remotes. We have two remotes for each mattress, uh, queen size and up. Okay, so remember earlier when we opened up the sleep number box and there was no remote? Well, we had to go buy one separately because they don't come with remotes anymore. So we're going to go ahead and attempt to hook this up to the sleep number bed so we can inflate it. If you come over here, you can see what the remote looks like when you get it. It's a wireless remote that requires batteries. Let's get started. Does your bed have a sleep number button at the hip? Is this a replacement remote or a second remote? Unplug and plug in your firmness control system to working outlet. Let's do that. I'm unplugging, I'm plugging it back in. Okay, it sounds like it's engaged and it sounds like it's working. So we're gonna sit back and wait a few minutes while this fills up with air. The air chambers are tucked up inside and the support fabric that goes underneath is there. Okay, so now we're going to fill up the personal comfort. just filled up the Personal Comfort A8 number bed to its maximum setting and it took about 10 minutes. The Sleep Number i8 360 
is actually only filled up to the number 50 sleep setting. Theirs will go all the way up to 100, and it took roughly half an hour to get both sides. And you can see here how it's still not all the way there. I don't want to bore you with making this take longer, so we'll just continue from this spot. Let's take a look at the sleep number remote control that we bought extra so we could function the sleep number i8 360 bed. As I look here, I can pick from left and right side. I'm gonna pick the right side right now and I'm gonna apply pressure to the mattress. Notice the number stays at 50. I'm gonna do the same for the left side just to make sure that I'm on covering both sides. You'll notice there is no number changing here when I apply pressure. Now let's take a look at the personal comfort. I've set the pressure at 40 on both sides. So as I apply pressure to the left side of the mattress, you're going to see that number change. It's a dynamic readout of what truly is the pressure inside the mattress at any given time. You have a true and accurate reading of what you're really sleeping on, which helps you fine tune your sleep setting. Another difference, if we look at the sleep number, is I can only go up in increments of five. As you can see, I'm going down and up in increments of five. If you look at the personal comfort, you'll see I can go up and down in increments of one, which makes you have a lot more options for your number bed setting over time. Remember when I talked to you about these little caps? We're gonna go ahead and see what they actually do. If you ever need to clean underneath your mattress, you need to move your mattress, you're gonna to have to disconnect the pump at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. You hear all that? You hear that air? That's air leaking out of the air chambers. The only way to prevent that from happening is this little plastic cap. That's what they're used for. But it already leaked out quite a bit of air. Let's take a look at the personal comfort. If you were to move or relocate your personal comfort air mattress, you would unplug the air hoses from the air control unit. This is a fully inflated personal comfort bed. You do not hear any air escaping. Why? Because we have a check valve. So we spend extra money to engineer this device and make sure you won't have air escaping from your air chambers. Now let's take a look at the air chambers inside a sleep number I-8 mattress. I'm going to flip this over so we can see the air chambers. When we installed these, there was a zipper. And that zipper is installed on these air chambers to keep them from separating down the middle, to prevent a roll to the middle issue, which is a common issue that sleep number had with their products. This is a great way to prevent that, and I applaud them for doing that. The one thing, though, that's a disadvantage about this is if you watch, motion transfer actually goes to both air chambers on both sides. So you can see here as I'm adding weight to this air chamber, it's actually pulling all the way over here on that air chamber. So it really isn't a true independent adjustability because you have a connection down the middle. Let's take a look at the personal comfort mattress. You're gonna see here there are no zippers in the middle that keep the air chambers together. Why? It's because we have a robust cavity with wrapped rails that help contain the air chambers and keeping them close together in the middle is very important to us. And keeping adjustability is also important. So if you look here, as I apply pressure on this side of the mattress, it doesn't affect my partner's side. It reduces motion transfer when you don't have a zipper down the middle. Believe it or not, it's engineered in a way to prevent that. Because of that wrapped rail that's going from this side to that side, it creates a very tight cavity, which reduces any type of motion transfer. Next, we're going to wrap the sleep number I-8 with a fire sock, and this is required to comply with the fire standards. You want to make sure you get all the foam covered. On the personal comfort, we're going to install the center panel. As you can see here, the center panel already has pre-sewn in fire barrier. The center panel is also made of a moisture wicking air layer, and this air layer helps circulate the air with inside the mattress. So a big thing today is about cooling mattresses and you know temperature neutralizing sleep systems. This material helps keep that balance within the mattress. You're going to see a zipper. So what we're going to do, we took the fire barrier down and then we're going to zip 
all the way around the bed. Tucking that fire barrier down. So next we're gonna add the comfort foam layers. Unlike sleep number, ours are individual so that you can replace, renew, upgrade, downgrade. Theirs is glued. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our bags here. So you can see here, these are comfort layers. One is a convoluted comfort foam, and the one closest to the sleeping surface is a gel-infused visco foam. If you look here, you'll see the blue gel inside the foam adds extra cooling and temperature neutralizing to the foam. In addition, these little holes are ventilation holes, and they help circulate the air. I can actually feel it as I push down on the foam. If we come over here and look at the sleep number, it does not have those extra ventilation holes. It does have gel infused, but it doesn't have those extra ventilation holes. I flipped over the sleep number bed. And you can see here, if you come up close, you can see this is where the hose goes through on the bottom of the bed. It's not reinforced, it's just someone just literally sliced a hole in the bottom of the fabric. And then I'm gonna reattach it here. These are the connections for the FlexFit bases. So if you order an adjustable base from sleep number, this is where it will connect to. There is no other reinforcement other than this plastic disc. So here I'm zipping up the sleep number top panel to the bottom panel. And you hear that high pitch zipper? This zipper does not allow you to fully upgrade this mattress. You cannot take a different panel and attach it and all that stuff. You can't change the height of the mattress by changing out the panel here. You would have to purchase a whole new cover, bottom panel, top panel, or a whole new core of a mattress to upgrade your bed. Now it's time to add our seasonal pillow top. One side is aloe vera for cooling. The other side is bamboo for temperature neutralizing. You hear the growl of that big zipper? It's only available at personal comfort. The reason we use that zipper is so that every component of this mattress can be fully upgraded and downgraded at any time. This sleep number i8 360 bed has been pumped up to the maximum setting on both sides. Now let's take a measurement. From the bottom of the mattress, it's 12 inches. Next, we're gonna compare the Personal Comfort A8 number bed mattress thickness. Here you can see, at the level, is 13 inches. Compare that to a sleep number I8 360 bed that measures only 12 inches. Let's talk about number bed technology. Personal Comfort has an app, so does sleep number. Personal Comfort can track your sleep, so can Sleep Number. We both have very similar technology. Now that we all saw the differences, I hope you can see why the verdict was in Personal Comfort's favor after that five year long lawsuit, and why our customers prefer Personal Comfort over Sleep Number. Now I wanna personally invite you to take us up on the risk-free trial and try out a Personal Comfort in the comfort of your home today.